259 dialysis patients have been accommodated at several health facilities to be treated for the COVID-19 virus between May and October of this year. Clinical coordinator at the Northwest Regional Health Authority's COVID-19 Parallel Healthcare System, Dr. Emil Mohammed, said this number is spread across three health facilities which treat dialysis patients. But Dr. Mohammed revealed that some of these patients have succumbed to the virus. Of these 259 patients, 30.5% have died from COVID. So for a kidney or dialysis patient, the chances of dying of COVID is almost one in three. Dr. Mohammed said the 259 persons do not include the emergency dialysis patients who need care in the intensive care or high dependency units. But he did notice a worrisome trend. And there's something else that's very concerning from the data, and that's the sheer number and volume of dialysis patients who have had COVID in the last six months. Because the vast majority of those 259 patients were regular dialysis patients and actually represents 14% of our total dialysis population. Dr. Mohammed said some of the people were typical dialysis patients. So 208 of the 259 were regular dialysis patients. The others were just about to need dialysis, but they were all considered stage 5 or advanced chronic kidney disease. Dr. Mohammed encouraged dialysis patients to take the COVID-19 vaccine, adding that persons already vaccinated should take the third shot to improve their antibody levels. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.